Happy New Year everyone, it's Ernest from Back to Basics. Welcome to the start of the 2016 grow season. Uh, like last year, I'll be growing tomatoes, lettuce, herbs, and a large variety of the usual uh, ultra-hot peppers that many of you are familiar with. Uh, I learned a lot from last year's experience and um, will incorporate that knowledge into this year's videos. This year I'll also be trying a number of other hot peppers originating from countries such as uh, Thailand, India, uh, Turkey and even Siberia. I, I think they'll do good out here. So um, as you can see here in Canada we don't uh, have the opportunity to grow outdoors all year round so we'll be starting things off indoors today. So let's go inside and, where it's warm and let's start off the 2016 season. Welcome to the start of my indoor grow season. Uh, before we start this year's plants off, I'd like to touch on a problem of indoor pests, in particular the fungus gnat. Uh, we'll look today at how to avoid introducing them to your grow room and how to get rid or reduce their numbers. You know, while fungus gnats are typically harmless to uh, healthy plants, they can do considerable damage to our seedlings that uh, we want to start off this year. You know, the larvae of these pests, they particularly like to feed on the new roots, which can easily kill our seedlings. So let's begin by starting off with uh, sterile soil for our seedlings. You know, I had purchased a bag of soil earlier in September, only to find that uh, fungus gnats uh, were flying out of it when I opened it up. So rather than throw it away, though, and, uh, you know, maybe bring a another infested bag home I looked at ways to uh, sterilize soil so um, there's many ways to do this but I like the simplicity of the method that I'm going to show you today uh, this one is one of many ways that I read in a post from the uh, Colorado State University and I'll post a link uh, below to this uh, all you're going to really need to do this very simple is a large ziploc bag some soil some water and a microwave that's it so let's get started here first thing you want to do is uh, get yourself about two pounds of moist soil uh, into your ziploc bag um, for the size of these ziplocs that I have I found uh, I can't really get two pounds in here so you know whatever it'll do the thing that you're gonna want is just to make sure that it's moist it has to be moist um, because the water that we're putting in here is going to act on doing the um, sterilizing. Uh, the, the heat and the steam from the water is going to heat up this soil nicely and uh, do the sterilization work for us. So pour in enough water or mix this up in a pail or a pan beforehand uh, if you want to do it easier that way. I find I just one less thing to clean up. I just get this moist. I can see, you may not see in the uh, video, but this is nicely moistened throughout. So let's just get this into the microwave. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is just place your bag of soil into a microwave, and uh, you want to make sure that you leave the top of the bag open, and um, then we're going to microwave this for two and a half minutes per two pounds or per kilogram. That's it. Okay, now the only thing you have to do is make sure that you seal this bag up when it's done, and this will be warm, so then just take it out of the uh, microwave, let this cool off, it takes about, it takes quite a few hours, so you'll know by the touch. That's it. Now, here's a bag that I had done uh, six weeks ago uh, with that bag of infested soil that I had told you about. Um, you know, the life cycle of a fungus gnat is approximately three to four weeks from egg to uh, adult female. So, um, as you can see, six weeks later, um, maybe you can't see, but there are no fungus gnats that have emerged uh, out of this soil 
uh, into this bag. It's been sealed for that long. I wanted to make sure that I encompassed the entire um, life cycle that could have happened. And uh, there you have it. Sterilized soil. Takes you three minutes, three, four minutes to do the entire process. And uh, you're way to go. So, so what can you do if you already have fungus gnats in the house? You know, I used to uh, make these uh, wasp catchers in the summer using uh, pop bottles. And I decided to merge that method with the use of uh, apple cider. I read in the web that a lot of people had had some uh, success using apple cider vinegar. And um, I'll show you what I, I did with that. Okay, how are we going to do this? This is very simple. Just get yourself a... Uh, pop bottle of uh, any kind. Um, clear, clear. I think works a little better but this is all I have on hand for, to show you today. And we're going to be uh, creating a base and using the top as a funnel. So I'll just cut this up, show you quickly how this will look and stay tuned. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some apple cider vinegar and a little touch of uh, dish soap to this. So you don't need much. I'm just using a regular apple cider vinegar that you can get at the store. It's not very expensive. Um, I've made so many of these. Uh, you, you really don't need to use much as you'll see. Um, just take a bit and pour it into the bottom. Now I'm not even going to do much. I mean, you just see I only need a small amount because you basically just want the smell of the uh, apple cider vinegar to be coming up. To this, we add a couple of drops of dish soap. I don't know exactly why it works, but I think it might have something to do with, uh, you know, them touching it. But who cares? It works. What I want to show you is once you've got that mixed up, you're going to take this and you're going to fit it into the top of that. And what you want to do is when you're cutting this is make sure that the bottom of the um, funnel is not touching the uh, liquid. Okay, here's some that I've already made up. This will show you a little easier. Um, what you're going to do is just tape that uh, top of the coat of the pop bottle onto here. As you can see, it's not touching. And um, seal it so that nothing can come out. Now, the reason why I like using this method is um, I've seen others that just put it in a bowl. And believe it or not, it, a bowl works just fine too. But I have cats around the house who uh, knock this a bit. I don't want them getting into it. And um, the nice thing is, like, like my wasp containers, if when they fly in, they're not going to get out. Um, bugs will usually try to come up, but it's all sealed and very few of them are going to actually figure out how to go and come up the center again. Don't know how scientific that is, but it works. Here, let me show you how good these are. I'm just going to hold these up to the light so you can see how many we've caught from this. And let's see, I'm not sure if we can focus on this very well, but uh, all those black dots, those are all fungus gnats. Now, believe it or not, uh, that's what get, got caught in about a day and a half. It's amazing. And, uh, you know, you catch all these adults, that interrupts them laying eggs, and, well, you know the whole story. Now, you guys may want to also try uh, fly tape and uh, sticky paper. They work as well, but, you know, these catch the fly so much faster. Um, I love this method. You know, whenever you walk by or you're watering your plants, you're looking at them, just, you know, give this a little swirl like this and it it actually gets that uh, apple cider vinegar smell to come up, which really attracts the uh, fungus gnats quickly. I know I put this into my uh, kitchen and uh, within, you know, a minute, 
they were already coming towards this. So they're very easy to put onto your grow shelf uh, and move them around with your plants. You know how awful sticky uh, fly tape can be. So I just thought I'd show you this method. It works for me. It's cut my fungus gnat problem down to um, so negligible I don't notice them, you know. Um, and if you want to avoid uh, the gnats laying eggs into your current plants, you know, just water from the bottom or, or use your two cup method as you've seen in the previous videos of mine and that should kind of hopefully get it under control. This method's worked for me and I hope it works for you. Thanks guys.